Enso. I have reviewed a couple of Enso pens in the past. Uh, they had a new pen uh, that came out called the Italia. Here we have the Italia. It's a very uh, uh, attractive pen in my mind. It's uh, titanium. A lot of their pens are titanium, aluminum, brass, these kinds of uh, metals. And uh, it has a Greek key on two parts of the pen. So I, I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, I, I will show you the parts of the pen. I will tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But before I do that, I will do a writing sample. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Enso Italia. And uh, it's a limited edition. It comes in this cute little box, which I think is fantastic. Nice small box, little waste. It's cardboard, can be recycled. I love that. So, a uh, pen comes out. Here we have it. And uh, it's, it's, uh, this, there's a couple of things to say about it. It is inspired by the golden age of Italian pens. You can see the Greek key that was, for example, used on Omas pens as well, right? It's not just on the cap, it's also on the section, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, it's a minimalistic design. It has, it's supposed to have these peaked finials. They explain, uh, Enzo explains uh, on their website in, in the letter they sent me too. Uh, it's machined, machined Greek key on the ca on the uh, the cap in the section, which I think is quite cool. And it is a limited edition of 200 pens. Uh, this is grade five titanium, and the price is 129 US for this pen with a polished steel nib and 100. Let me just double check. Yes, 189 for a titanium nib. This is the steel nib. I will say it is a superb steel nib. A real joy to use. I was really happy with that. Bock number six, not rebranded the nib. It has a Schmidt converter, and that's pretty much it. So why don't I zoom in a little bit and show you some of the parts of this pen. So first of all, here we have the pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see it's about the same length, but it is considerably girthier. Um, let's let's look at what we have. So we have this pointy finial on top, which I think I think is quite nice. We have the clip. Uh, the clip I like. I like the shape. It's uh, uh, very uh, comfortable to uh, to to use, and it works well in uh, pen cases. Which oh, I'm sorry, that was kind of off camera, wasn't it? Uh, it kind of. Uh, this is not the best position. Okay, let's take this out. It slips in really quite easily, so I do really like that. Um, then we continue. We have this Greek key, which really is, I think, quite nice. Then you have this little groove here, and then the rest of the uh, barrel tapers down. Another pointy finial and a groove there. The cap unscrews. One and a half turns. We have the section, it tapers down, and you have another Greek key, which I do think is very nice. These threads are not sharp. I've had cross-threading once, and after that it was fine. They are fairly wide, as you can see. Not sharp. I, at least, I don't find them sharp. I find them quite comfortable to use. Plus, the section is not exceptionally long, but it's definitely not short, making for a very pleasant pen to hold. Uh, it's not a, a huge pen, uh, as you can see here. Uh, but it does post, and then it is definitely a very comfortable, uh, solid, solid pen because of all the metal. The Bock nib is not rebranded, but it is number six, and it has a plastic feed. And then in here we have the simple Schmidt converter. It is a converter. Uh, what can we say about it? So I'm going to unpost that, and I'm going to show you how the pen writes. Sorry, I didn't flip the page in the notebook, but here we go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit for this. There was a, a skip there, but um, is it Enso or is it Enso? No, I'm confused. No, it's Enso with the diacritic there. Sorry. Um, that was just because I had the nib out a bit, because I haven't had any hard starts with this. Uh, so it's actually... A, a surprisingly wet nib I find. It is a fine, uh, it is a steel nib, and this is uh, Edelstein Star Ruby Red Ink. You may hear a bit of feedback, that is because I am largely writing on the back cover of the notebook, 
Uh, it is in fact a smooth nib. I was surprised at how wonderful a writer this is because I'm usually a bit more into broad nibs but the pen is smooth consistent doesn't hard start uh, doesn't really skip and as I said it's wet it's a pleasant very nice juicy wet writer line variation as always very careful it's a pretty stiff nib, but it's also not advertised as a flex nib. Uh, reverse writing in such a wet nib, definitely possible, takes it from a fine to an extra fine. Very nice pen. Solid. Relatively heavy. Beautiful writer. Let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Enso Italia? Well, to be honest, I like a lot of things. Uh, the, 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 the pointy finials were a deliberate design choice, as I understand it. It is titanium. Titanium can be tough to work with. You need really, really sharp tools. So I'm sure there will be people who say, oh, they should have just flattened that. Yeah, okay, but they didn't, right? And if things would be any other way, well then things would be different. Uh, so there is that. What I find attractive about the pen is that it's very solid. As you would expect from a solid metal pen, it feels heavy, it feels solid. Oh, there is ink all over me now. Um, but it, it feels like a well-constructed, well-made pen, and I think that is really nice. Uh, another thing I will say is that it is a superb writer. I am, as you may know, I'm not necessarily one for finer nibs. This is a fine nib that writes super smoothly, really, really nicely with a juicy wet line. Very pleasant to use, so I, I really do think that's nice. Um, so there is that. Uh, great writer. I find it comfortable, even for a metal pen that has quite a bit of weight behind it. I find it a pretty comfortable model that is uh, pleasant to use. I haven't felt, but especially when using it unposted, I haven't felt that it particularly tired my hands or something. Then again, I do like somewhat bigger, heavier pens typically. Maybe if lighter pens are truly your thing, well then leave this one. Um, it's not that it's super girthy, but it definitely has some girth to it. So that, that is something that you may uh, want to consider as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Is there anything else I can say? Yeah, I have once. I'm trying to simulate it here. It is, but it, once I, I put the cap on and the threads kind of cross-threaded and I ended up with the cap at a slight angle. Yeah, and then I unscrewed it and then I put it back on. So this is really not a big deal. Beyond that, I have to admit, I, I don't find this to be a... Let me rephrase that. I, I don't think I have much to say about dislikes. And the reason for that is I find it a comfortable pen, it writes very well, it does everything it's supposed to do as advertised. And I think on top of that it is fairly priced. For a titanium made pen, knowing that titanium is hard to work with, knowing that it is limited, I think this price is fair. In my mind. So, I hope that was useful. A very kind thank you to Enzo for sending me the pen. Uh, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.